book of Ezekiel, chapter 47, verse 12. Excuse me. Ezekiel, chapter 47, verse 12. It says, along the bank of the river, on this side and that, will grow all kinds of trees used for food. Their leaves will not wither, and their fruit will not fail. They will bear fruit every month because their water flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be for food and their leaves for medicine. Amen. Praise the Lord. Along the bank of the river on this side and that will grow all kinds of trees used for food. Their leaves will not wither and their fruit will not fail. They will bear fruit every month because their water flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be for food and their leaves for medicine. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, this is talking about the temple to come, the ultimate temple, and there's rivers of water coming out of the temple, and along the it goes into the sea, and along the banks of the river, there's these trees that are bearing fruit that we talked, we heard about today in this word. And so what are these trees? We know that if you look throughout the Bible, trees can stand for people. Uh, and so trees, these particular trees, they don't have any more winter seasons where they're not bearing fruit. These trees are always bearing fruit. And these, the fruit is for the healing and the blessings. So who are these trees? In the book of Acts, it says in chapter 2, even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above and sing on the earth, signs on the earth below, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Uh, these, three, these trees, I believe God is telling us, are those who have given their lives completely to the Lord that he's chosen. The ones who, uh, even young men who shall utterly fall, but those who wait on the Lord will rise and on wings like eagles and they, were, they will walk on the mountains and they will run and not grow weary. I believe this is the sanctified souls like the, like the apostles of those days uh, where... God has set, separated them and given them a permanent promised land of rest in him where he bears fruit through them at all times. And that is how this revival, this harvest of harvest is going to happen, is not 12 disciples or apostles, but many, many more that he has prepared for these days. But there is no more stumbling because he's finished the stumbling that causes us to be to confess things in our hearts and be uh, have those things removed from us and be totally solely dependent on the Lord himself and none other even ourselves. I believe those trees are coming to fruition in the days ahead and blessed are those who surrender their life to the Lord. Lord, we thank you for uh, this word today and I for one pray that you uh, cause us to be those trees, that you bring us to the end of ourselves, that we would decrease, that you would increase that your rivers of water would fill us like the like the the sap from the vine that causes the branch to yield fruit, Lord, in every season, at all times. Bring us to that place, Lord, of rest in you. We thank you for doing it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord.